Hey guys, I wanted to come on and celebrate October a little bit early with my 13 days of Halloween. So for today's post, I'm going to make these cute little jack-o'-lanterns using these wooden blocks that I found. The first thing I'm going to do is since they are found and stained, I'm going to spread some wax over them before I apply my transfer. This is one of my favorite products and this not only protects your transfer, but it helps make sure that that paste stays where it needs to be. Then I'm going to take some shimmer copper paste and I am going to make the face using our jack-o'-lanterns uh, transfer. Now this transfer is a larger transfer. It comes in multiple pieces. Part of the pieces include three pumpkin faces. Isn't that so adorable guys? Now this one I decided to change it up and be a little risky. So I go ahead and wax the surface and then I apply one of the other pumpkin faces just to add a little bit of variety. And when you're applying this wax, make sure that you're spreading it completely out. You can feel the wax over your surface. However, you don't want any clumps or globs. So make sure to take some time and spread that in. Then I'm gonna apply the second jack-o'-lantern face and I'm gonna put some shimmer white paste on it. Now I love the way the shimmer copper came out, but I did wanna mix it up a little bit. So I used shimmer white on this, shimmer frost, and it came out wonderful. Uh, I will show you both of them together here in just a moment. See how cute that is? First thing I wanna do before I show you guys that is I wanna show just a real quick wash method for any new members that might be watching. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it in a warm water bath and I'm gonna wipe it down with my board eraser. Then I'm just gonna take my fuzz mat and I'm just gonna dry it off. It's that simple, guys. You can get eight to 12 uses out of each one of these transfers, making them cost pennies per design. It's so fabulous and it's such a uh, foolproof method. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my dry heat tool and I'm going to real quickly heat these um, pumpkins just so I'm not messing up the paste on them. Then I'm going to take my little Dremel drill and I'm going to drill just little tops in little holes in the top. Next, I add some hot glue to these holes and I found some floral decor at the Dollar Tree and I'm just using that with some leaf ribbon and I'm just gluing it right into that hole in the top. See how I put that fake flower stem. Now I took the petals off, I left the leaves and the little stems. Okay, another favorite tool is the artist tool set. You saw me use the little paintbrush there and just come back and fill it in. I did dry these, however, that one spot was still shining. So here they are guys, aren't they adorable?